Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to extract data from RSS feeds using Feed Parser. Before we get started, let's take a look at what an RSS feed actually looks like. This is how a typical RSS feed should look like. These items are what we're interested in. Let's get right into it. We need the library called Feed Parser. We can install it via pip, like pip install feed parser. What it actually returns is a dictionary. I'm going to go ahead and print out the keys. And there we go. I'm not going to go through all of the items in this video, but the most important ones are the entry, updated, and also status. Essentially, the entries returns the data, the updated item returns when the feed was last modified, and the status returns HTTP response. I'm going to get into these two later on, but for now, let's take a look at the data itself. I'm actually going to show you guys what each of the entries look like. So first, I'm going to store it in a wearable, and then I'll dump it into a JSON file. Of course, each RSS feed might have slightly different variations of the field itself, but in general, most RSS feeds will have URL, title, at least, something like that. We first extract the titles and store it in the array, and you can dump it in the JSON file, like what I did. Run, boom. This JSON file has every single title right here. The next thing I want to show you guys is actually something pretty important. It's a way of conserving bandwidth for both yourself and also for the server. You don't really want to extract the entire RSS feed if there has been no changes, right? So what you can actually do is specify a modified header. In this feed too, I'm passing the last modified header request. So before it gives you the data, it first checks if the feed has been modified since this date. Once we run this, we should get a 304 status response. I'm actually going to run it in debug mode so you can better understand how, what it looks like. So in feed 2, I'm first I'm passing in the modified header request. So as you can see, it first checks if the RSS feed has been updated since this date and time. And obviously, it hasn't. So we're going to print out the status. We first print out the entries. Let's see what we get. We get an empty array because, of course, it hasn't been modified since, so we don't get any new data. And let's take a look at the status. 304. So this is how you conserve bandwidth. You first check if the feed has been updated before you pull the data. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. I'll answer them. Thank you. Bye.